Hi folks, in this video I'm going to be showing you everything that I take on my hiking and wild camping trips. Let's get stuck right in. So this is my pack of choice. It is the Sierra Designs Flex Trail 4060 litre. And it's similar to its bigger brother, the Flex Capacitor. You can adjust the volume with the straps so you can have it down to 40 litres and the max capacity is 56 litres. So what we'll do now is we'll get open, get everything out and show you what I carry. So this is all packed, ready for a trip. Everything's in it other than food. So I've got my waterproofs at the top. Spare clothes in this one. Electronics and misc. Insulated jacket. Tent. My sleep setup. And last but not least at the bottom is my pot and cup in this little front pouch here. I've got my cooking setup and a compass. I also carry this little bit of foam instead of a sit mat. I've cut this down to torso length. This is handy just as backup or for sitting on, lying out in the sun or just stopping getting your knees wet, getting in and out of the tent. In the, in the wand pockets, I carry some of these. These are the Knock Outdoors, I think these are the, the Versica bottles. They hold about 800 ml of water. And I've also got the Salomon XA filter bottle. So that filters out my water. That's a standard 48 millimeter thread, I think that is. So that'll fit on this as well. I've also got the Zolio satellite communicator. And this side, my emergency whistle. So my tent of choice is the Dustin X-Mid One Person with a mesh inner. My tent peg of choice are these, the Eastern Nine Inch Nails. So my pillow of choice is the Decathlon Helium Pillow. This is almost as comfortable as the real thing in the house. Been using this for a while now, really like it. I uh, don't see me changing this anytime soon. Really cheap, they're around £17 as well. So as many of you already know, my quilt of choice is the Alightened Equipment Enigma. And this one goes down to minus six. I do wish I got the slightly lighter version of this because I can be a little bit too warm in some of the summer months in this quilt. My sleeping pad is the Xped Sinmat HLM. Again, I've been using this for a good few years now. It's really comfortable. Um, I need a lot of back support, I get sore hips. This is always supporting my hips with the baffles running the length of my body. So I won't be changing out this anytime soon. So as I touched on earlier, I've got two knockout doors Versica bottles. You can see which one's newer, this one's a bit discoloured. I've also got the Salomon soft flask with the XA filter and that holds 490 ml, these hold around 800 each. So that's more than enough once you've set up camp if you find a, a water source. For my cooking setup, I have the Alpkit Mai Tai 600 pot, which obviously holds 600 ml water. I've also got the Life Adventure mug as well, which just sits nicely inside there. This here is a Speedster stove setup. So this here is a little alcohol burner. Top this up with bioethanol. Always carry 100 ml for one night away. Always come back with fluids left, as you can see there. So 100 ml is too much, but I just like to be safe. I'll top up about 20 ml in this little jug that I got from my mouthwash. Pour that in there. That sits in there like so. Get your Soto lighter with the extendable neck. That fires up. Put that up and then let the water reach boiling. Obviously I wouldn't do that on top of the foam because that would catch fire. I've also got a little titanium mug which just sits inside when stowed away. I've also got the UCO cutlery set up. This breaks away to give you a fork and a knife and a spoon. And then if you're eating a freeze-dry meal, 
that clips in like so to give you an extended reach into your pack and then for storing away that just clips in like so in front of you here is the clothes that I carry in my pack this is the Columbia Omni heat jacket that I use this just keeps the chill off at night when you're chilling in your tent or if you're on the move and you're stopping for a break and it's just a bit cold I also carry a buff I'll wear that at night sometimes just to keep the chill off my bald head I've got uh, these are just Rab Long Johns for sleeping in there a sort of merino stroke synthetic blend and I've got a, an old Alp kit merino base layer long sleeves that's my jammies for sleeping in I'll either be carrying or wearing the North Face uh, beanie hat, love these and a pair of sock liners again they just make up my sleepwear a pair of Montane prism gloves and a pair of just a, a lightweight pair of glove liners these are ideal for just keeping your hands warm when you're dropping a tent in the morning they might be a bit wet my waterproofs I've got the Montane equipment Firefox this is new for 2022 I believe and my old tried and tested Gore-Tex pack lights from Bergos they need replaced, I've been saying that for ages now but they're still working but there's a few tears and holes in them and that's just a little mesh bag for them so this here is my miscellaneous and electronic stuff this is my little wash bag here just carry some hand sanitizer, tissues, biodegradable wet wipes, toothbrush and paste I usually have a couple of dog poo bags in there as well for carrying out dirty toilet tissue got a compass I obviously have a map to accompany that as well this here is just a very basic first aid kit I've got some painkillers, a bandage, some plasters windproof matches and some other little bits and bobs in here don't need to carry loads for first aid mentioned that earlier emergency whistle, super loud this the Zolio satellite communicator with the SOS button a little Bluetooth speaker they don't make these anymore unfortunately which is a shame because they're really good super loud as well for the size of it a pair of cheap sunglasses at next I don't buy expensive glasses because I'm terrible for losing them or breaking them this is the Anchor power bank that I use this is a 10,000 milliamp one and this does for a weekend topping up the phone and anything else cameras etc Midgenet for Highlander you may recognise this, this is the tiny pump from Flextail and this is good for pumping up your mat it's also got a built in light for lighting up your tent at night is that everything? oh yeah, head torch, that's the Nightcore NU25 they are really popular these little guys and they brought a newer version out because a lot of people replace this with bungee cord well Nightcore have brought out a newer version of this and they've actually just put bungee cord on themselves but this is still working fine so I'm not going to replace that just yet just to get a bungee cord on it and last but not least if it's going to be really midgy I'm going to be taking this along with me still to do a review of this but I want to test it first really quality product though it's the Flex Tail Tiny Repel and they market it for mosquitoes but I do hope it works for midges you can see there it's got two cartridges in it which once the device heats them up obviously gives off the active ingredient which should hopefully repel midges and you can hang that up inside your tent or you can use the magnet even works on a tripod as well there so all this together weighs 6.7 kilograms which I think is pretty respectable weight to be carrying that's obviously your base weight that will go up with your food and water if I swap the dusting out for my tarp tent SCARP 1 that weight would increase to about 7 kilograms. again I'm pretty pretty happy with that I'd have to spend a good few hundred pounds to sort of get that down nearer the sort of 5 kilogram weight I can't see really anywhere else I could save weight on really uh, but otherwise that is all I've got time for so I'm going to wrap this up if you've watched this far thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next one cheers